Let's write a C program to count the number of occurrences of each digit in user entered number using arrays. First we ask the user to input a positive integer number and then we fetch each digit individually. In this case the individual digits are 1, 1, 2, 0 and 1 and we consider these digits as index of our array. A of 10. A of 10 because we need to accommodate 10 digits 0 to 9 using which we could formulate any positive integer numbers. And another important thing we have initialized all the array elements to 0. Okay. For each occurrence of these individual digits we increment the value present at that index by 1. In this case A of 0 is 1 because 0 occurs only once. A of 1 is 3 because 1 occurs 3 times in this number and A of 2 is 1 because 2 occurs only once in this number. So after this we just display the non-zero numbers onto the console window. So let's write the C program. I'll initialize all the elements of the array to 0. So if you initialize A of 0 or any element and leave rest of it all the other elements will be assigned to 0 by the compiler automatically. So I'll ask the user to enter a positive integer number and then store it inside the address of integer variable num. Now let's write a simple while loop while execute this while loop until the condition is num is greater than 0 okay or else it's equivalent to writing while num that's it so this while loop keeps on iterating until num is anything but 0 once this num is 0 the control exits this while loop so if user enters a number 1 2 3 4 to fetch individual digit digit from end I modulo divide it by 10 and store the result in the variable rem which means reminder so to reduce that number num is equal to num division 10 that removes the last digit from this number so here it returns 4 the last digit and 1 2 3 4 divided by 10 returns 1 2 3 now this returns 3 as a reminder and 1 2 3 divided by 10 is 12 like that it keeps on reducing the value of num until num is equal to 0. Once num is 0, the control exits this while loop. So in between this, let me add 1 to each occurrence of individual digits. So a of rem is equal to previous value of a of rem. Initially it will be 0 plus 1. For each occurrence of the digit, increment the value by 1. Simple logic, right? So if you didn't understand this logic, don't worry at all. I'll explain this entire while loop once again. So let me introduce a new line character here, slash n. Now I could write complicated logic like this to display the number of occurrences of each digit of that number. But instead, we only have 10 digits, right? So we don't have any overhead. So let me scan through all the 10 elements of this array. So i is equal to 0, i is less than 10 which means less than 10 means 9. So n, if n is 10, so n minus 1 is 9. So i is less than 10 means 9 itself. For each iteration of this for loop, i increments by 1. So if a of i is not equal to 0, that means that individual digit we have fetched occurs at least one time. Okay. In that case, print it. So I'll write percentage d has appeared percentage d times so the individual digit is present inside this index variable i right so each individual digits are considered as index of our array so it's present inside i and the value the number of times it has appeared is present inside a of i that's it very simple logic so let me compile and run this program I'll give 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Each digit occurs only once. So 1 has appeared one time and all these individual digits has appeared only one time. So now I'll give bigger number 1, 1, 2, 5, 3, 0, 0 and 1. So 1 has occurred 3 times, 2 has occurred once, 5 has occurred once, 3 has occurred once, 0 has occurred twice. So 0 has occurred 2 times, 1 has appeared 
three times okay one has appeared three times two three and five has appeared only once in this number okay so now let me explain this while loop once again for you please concentrate now so let me copy this hope you understand understood this for loop it's just printing all the values except which has zeros in it okay now let me explain this while loop while if user enters number 1120 2021 2 has occurred twice let it be like that okay this is the user input number this is the user input number since this is positive the control enters this while loop okay so now number modulo division 10 reminder is last element of this last digit of this number which is 1 so a of 1 is equal to previously its value is 0 so 0 plus 1 is 1 now reduce the number num is equal to 1 1 2 0 and 2 it removes the last digit from the number okay so it's positive number so it the control enters the while loop once again so num modulo division 10 gives last digit of that number which is 2 so a of 2 is initially it's 0 0 plus 1 is 1 now reduce the number once again 1 1 2 0 2 division 10 gives 1 1 2 0 eliminating the last digit in this number so now it's positive number so it enters the while loop once again So one one two zero modulo division ten gives zero. So a of zero is equal to. So initial value is zero. So zero plus one is once again one. Now the last line of code one one two zero division ten gives one one two, eliminating the last digit of this number. Now since one one two is still positive, it enters the while loop. So one one two modulo division ten gives two. so a of 2 is equal to so previous value of a of 2 is 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 now okay so now the last line of code that is num is equal to 1 1 2 division 10 eliminates last number so the result is 11 so 11 is again positive reminder is 1 so a of 1 is so previous value of a of 1 is 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 now 11 division 10 gives 1 11 divided by 10 gives 1 so reminder 1 is positive once again the control enters the while loop so 1 modulo division 10 returns 1 okay so a of 1 is so previous value of 1 is 2 now 2 plus 1 returns 3 now num is 1 1 division 10 returns 0 so num is 0 now since num is 0 the control exits this while loop 0 means false right so control exits this while loop so now let's see a of 1 is 3 the final values a of 1 has 3 so a of 2 has 2 and a of 0 has 1 so what's our number so user entered number is 112021 let me copy and paste this also so one has occurred three times in this number 1 2 3 and two has occurred twice one and two and zero has occurred one time in this number okay so this is how this logic works so let me compile let me run this program and input the same number now and check if the results actually match so 112021 is the number 112021 let me bring up my worksheet here so zero has appeared once one has appeared thrice two has appeared twice so that's matching so this is how we Uh, we calculate we count the number of occurrences of each digit in the user entered number simple right so please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic 
Stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog and please share this video with your friends online using WhatsApp, Telegram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook etc. And please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.